हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द इंडेप सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस आई एम ऋतु एंड टूडे सेशन इज अबाउट हीट वेव एंड वाई इट इज राइजिंग डे बाई डे सो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस सेशन एंड दिस सेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यूर जी एस थ्री परस्पेक्टिव मूविंग टूअर्स द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन पार्ट first of all we are going to discuss uh, the news then we are going to discuss what does the forecast say so here there is a forecast by imd so we are going to discuss different aspects of that forecast and then what is heat wave and then what are the reasons for rising heat waves and also elections and heat waves because election is approaching the door and in such situation because whole election is in the summer days so in such situation it's very important to take precautions and take measures to prevent ourselves from the heat waves and heat strokes and after that we are going to discuss practice question paper prelims before that you have to like share and subscribe to the dhisti is channel moving towards the news part so i already have told you that uh, there is a report or forecast by imd and this particular news has been taken from the hindu more heat wave days than usual for most of india this summer imd sage explained so indian meteorological department on monday announced that india will witness more number of heat waves this time also and the april will become the hottest day and hottest month for this whole year so this is the forecast by the imd and uh, except few areas most of the area will suffer from the heat waves and northeastern areas and other areas will likely to less suffer from the heat waves but most of the areas will suffer the heat waves and uh, they are uh, going to affect the southern peninsula central india east india and the northwestern plains the most so this is the forecast by the imd what does the forecast say so these are the observation made by the imd that hot weather had said most of the india and east and northeast and some pockets in the northwest is likely to have less impact from these heat waves and there will be more diseases related to the heats and also it will impact the agriculture output cause water scarcity increase the demand for energy and affect ecosystem and air quality so india is trying to shift uh, its electronic uh, its electronics or electricity source from coal to hydroelectric but right now because of so much of paucity of resources the india is still taking uh, so much resources from the coal and it is the hydroelectric capacity is not able to fulfill the electricity demands of the india so in this situation it's very important to also overview that why there is a power cuts and is it because of the climate change or why there is a scarcity of hydroelectric sources in the country and then april specifically is likely to have more than the usual number of heat waves this year then moving towards the other observation the other observation is that the el nino event will also impact the climate change and also the heat structure of the country the agriculture output the illness and everything and the whole forecast has also observed that it is likely to weaken el nino this time but in equatorial pacific region it will remain and that will create the cause of rising sea uh, surface temperature so this is the another observation and also this time january 2024 was the hottest month in 175 years so this is the also that warmest january since 175 years uh, according to the national oceanic and atmospheric administration and the average global land and the ocean surface temperature was 0.04 degree celsius higher than the previous in the 2016 so the average global land temperature was also higher because of these things so uh, moving to the next one next one is about what is heat wave so during a period of time when heat is abnormally rising so this is called as a heat wave and uh, imd declares different parameters for the heat waves so for plain it is 40 degree celsius for hilly areas it is 30 degree celsius and maybe one to 
वन टू टेम्परेचर हाइयर और लोअर इट कैन मैनेजेबल बट नॉट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस नॉट फोर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस वेन इट कम्स टू द फोर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस इट इज सीवियर हीट वेव एंड वेन इट्स कम टू द वॉट यू कैन से फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस इट इज द एक्चुअल मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर सो दिस इज द पैरामीटर विच हैज बीन सेट बाई द आई एम डी एंड ऑल्सो क्वालिटेटिवली अ हीट वेव कैन अकर वेन द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द एयर बिकम्स फैटल सो इट इज नॉट जस्ट द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द होल इन्वायरमेंट when air becomes lethal or air becomes fatal it is also considered as a part of the heat waves and the second thing is that heat waves in india was typically recorded between the march and the uh, may or june so this is the period that since april to june is the peak period for the heat wave then moving to the another slide another slide is about what are the reasons for the heat waves so overall the forecast says that the climate change is the biggest region for the heat waves and because of the climate change we can see that rising sea surface temperature we can see the global warming we can see the other environmental problem and that are cumulatively causing the heat waves so in lay person language if you have to understand that what are the basic or prime cause for the rising heat wave so it is the climate change and climate change is happening because of the rising pollution because of the uncontrolled human activities so these are the reasons and uh, world health organization has also observed that that will multiply into the several kind of the diseases and there are uh, also significant rise of el nino which is also impacting the weather condition though la nina is also available and also impacted in india's weather condition but that is not creating much heat waves or much hot weather but when it comes to the el nino that is impacting the global warming and other kind of the temperature and also the agriculture produce the healthcare the industries it means that overall everything will be affected by the heat waves so uh, moving to the next one next one is about elections and heat waves as you already know that april 19 india is going to witness its Lok Sabha election 2024 and it will be the first phase of the election and it will announce and it will go to the till June 2nd and on June 4th will be have the declaration of the results in all these times because India is a country which has a nearly 140 crore of the population and among all these population majority of the population are eligible for votes and so many are the persons with the Dif uh, different abilities so many old persons are there pregnant ladies are there 18 years people are there so all these people will likely to impact from the heat waves because whole election timing is in the summer so election uh, has also issued election commission has also issued various notification and various precautionary measures that when heat wave or heat strokes affects any person then what you have to do in that situation there should be a shade there should be the availability of the drinking water ors there should be the separate facilities for the pregnant women then there should be the sitting arrangement for the old age persons so these are the precautions and measures suggested by the uh, election commission of india so that we can fight heat waves we can fight heat stroke and we can also participate in the election procedure so these are the guidelines that there should be the tent arrangement transport facility for senior citizens crutch for children queue management nodal office coordinator supervision management volunteers from ncc so these are the paramedical staff so these are the suggestions and these are the mandatory things which has been given by the eci which every constituency in every booth has to follow because it will maybe cause so many deaths and because of the heat waves we have seen that around 90% of india has been affected and now right now we can see that southern area is also so much hot even the hilly area is becoming so much hot because of the climatic condition so in that situation we need to take care of our environment and india has also taken the net zero emission and different kind of environmental pledge so india and the government of this country must take care about the environmental problem climate change issues there must be the control of the coal and our dependence on the coal and we should move towards the renewable energy so this is the thing moving towards the question part question is 
कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग हीट वेब्स एंड द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज हीट वेब्स टिपिकली अकर बिटवीन मार्च एंड जून एंड इन सम रेयर केसेज इवन एक्सटेंड टिल जुलाई एंड द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज द एक्सट्रीम टेम्परेचर एंड रिजल्टेड एटमोस्फेरिक कंडीशन एडवर्सली इफेक्ट पीपल लिविंग इन दीज रीजन एज दे कॉजिंग फिजियोलॉजिकल स्ट्रेस एंड समटाइम्स रिजल्टिंग इन टू डेथ येस सो वी ऑलरेडी हैव हर्ड अबाउट दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द हीट स्ट्रोक बिकॉज ऑफ द हीट वेब्स पीपल आर डाइंग सो हियर यू हैव टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन टू द कॉमेंट सेक्शन आई होप यू लाइक दिस सेशन If you have any queries related to the session kindly ask in the comment section and keep preparing for your examination thank you For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications